adventure. I'm on a mission. Yeah. I'm on a mission. Uh, I'm going over the bridge right now in St. John here. The Reversing Falls Bridge. And as you can see on this side, it's super foggy. That's the way I'm heading because I'm on a mission. I mean, it was just super sunny right there where I'm coming from, but my actual destination is like, looks like a, looks like a UFO is like uh, causing a fog scene over there. So I'm heading down to the Cedar Hill graveyard. So I've discovered the location of my great great grandfather. I believe I have. The approximate location. Uh, which is crazy. My dad was born, well, no, uh, my dad was adopted into a French family. Uh, and uh, a real nice French family. The Haché family. His real dad's name as far as uh, I knew, or he knew, uh, was Kester Stone. Uh, or uh, it turns out it's James Kester Stone. Uh, and Betty Millen was his real mother, Betty Mae Millen. Uh, so James Kester Stone, uh, his dad, turns out, was uh, a Lewis Stone. Look at that, in just a second. Look at that cool view. It was a, a Lewis Stone. Lewis C. Stone. And his dad uh, is the guy I'm going to look for right now. Uh, John Malcolm Stone. So all from the St. John area, it turns out, which I didn't know until after I'd gotten here. Look at that. So until after I got here. Uh, and yeah, so uh, it turns out it's like about a 20, 25 minute walk uh, from where uh, my great grandfather's been chilling. So I'm going to check that out. And it's super foggy in the exact direction I need to go. As, as if it's like planned. Like, because I've been really thinking about it. I was up until 7 in the morning last night because I finally got a lead on all this stuff like that. I've been trying to track this stuff down for years. Uh, yeah, but I didn't know until I got to St. John that the entire stone lineage is from right here for like 250 years at least. Around that. So this fella, John Malcolm Stone, was born August 4th, 1844. But the tombstone, I believe, says 1847, um, which would be incorrect. I gotta find a way to cross here without dying. It's a scary place to cross. Uh, shoot. Yeah, I'll wait there. Um, so I guess I will uh, keep recording once I get over there. So yeah, I take a look at the scene. That's uh. My nephew Ben is working here at the Rapid Falls. Uh, uh, ben Leonard, he's over there at Rapid Falls, uh, reversing Falls, rather, uh, restaurant. Uh, and, uh, and you see all the, the tourists uh, here checking this place out, because what happens is uh, when the tide comes in, the river starts flowing in the backwards direction. Supposedly, according to indigenous lore, that's because a giant beaver built a dam here and then Glooscap the giant came and smashed the shite out of it. And, um, and whatever the heck happened, uh, it caused that to happen. Yeah. That's the story. Uh, and the hill behind me. Uh, that is, what the heck's it called? Uh, Willistook, Willistook Park. That's the, Willistook is the, called the Beautiful River. That's the indigenous word for what this place is supposed to be called, not St. John. Um, so on top of that hill there, right behind me, 
Uh, on the other side of Reversing Falls, there's Reversing Falls, and then there's the hill. There was an insane asylum there that only just got torn down recently, terrifyingly. Uh, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get across the street. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, uh, it's really loud, so I should probably, uh, I'll be back. But, uh, I think I covered it on my... Oh, going out. Oh, shit. I did it. I did it. All right. I did it. Uh, now I'm on the other side. So, yeah, there was an insane asylum at the top of the hill. I suspect prior to that, it was like a native settlement many years prior. And, uh, the insane asylum was probably to institutionalize uh, the indigenous who did not conform to Christian uh, values and all, uh, mythology, if you want to call it that, uh, or bastardization of information. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll, we'll catch up in about five minutes here once I get to this place. It's really not far.